Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be working on this 2009 DL650 V-Strom. Well, we're going to be putting on a center stand. First, we're going to do a little unboxing. All right, the first thing we have are our installation instructions. They're even in English. That's something. We have a center stand. Got a bracket or two. And a bag of bits. The first thing I like to do anytime I'm installing something like this is actually just check out the bits and see if I have what I'm supposed to have. There's a listing on the front of this that tells me what I should have and also what it looks like. Best I can tell, we got everything we need. The first step is to mount the left side bracket. It has a 10 millimeter bolt that goes here and an 8 millimeter that goes there. We're going to go over to the right side and do the exact same thing. We've got both of our spacers put in. Now we're going to set the center stand up into place. Now we'll tighten up the other side. At this point we need to put the rubber in. This is the center stand stop for when it's up. This is probably some of the best stuff to use to put rubber in. I don't have any silicone spray here, so uh, a little Honda spray cleaner polish that pops right in. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but uh, these are the center stand springs. They hook to the mount up here and they come back and they attach to the swing arm. I had a devil over time getting those and getting them hooked, but I finally ended up using some hose pliers and grabbing them and pulling them down and just tugging on them so I can get them to go around there. And I did them one at a time. That's how I got those sweethearts to hook and they were tough. The last thing to do on this kit is to change out this uh, curb feeler or a lean indicator. Now this is the difference between them. So what we're doing is we're compensating for the bracket for this part of the center stand. The part you push down with your foot to set it up. It sticks out farther and it'll hit the ground sooner. So we're putting in a longer curb feeler to accommodate for that. So you can feel with your foot that, hey, we're getting leaned over too far before anything bad happens. I'm guessing you'd have to be riding pretty seriously to take a DL650 and drag this on the ground intentionally. Some of you may have noticed that this center stand 
is hitting on the linkage for the rear shock right here. It's not hitting on the actual pad over here where it should. It's actually hitting right here. So we're going to fix that because this is an aftermarket linkage set to lower the bike. This was done before we got it and we don't want the bike lowered. So we're going to take these out and put the stock ones back in. We already have them set to the high position. Ironically, the shortest position is the tallest position. But uh, this is already set up in the tallest position and we've got the, the stock links to put in here. Harbor Freight Lift. Probably the best motorcycle lift. Very little money bodies. We can get in a whole conversation about how much money you spend to get a quality product. I can tell you when it comes to motorcycle lifts, it's more than $400. This isn't a bad lift, it's just a lift. We'll talk about that another day. I'm already loosening up the nuts on the other side, so we'll remove the nuts off these. We need to get some of the weight off the bolts. So I'm going to stick something under here and pry up on the tire just a little bit, and that'll give us enough slack to move those in and out. I'm going to be prying up back here with this pry bar, like so, to take the weight off of it, and that way we can pull the bolts out. There's one. I started messing with that. And I can't get the chain around it, so I'm going to have to pull the bolts out of this one. They fit in here rather tightly. There we go. I've got a strap holding the rear tire up as well, so. Now I'm going to feel quite a bit better having the OE dog bones back in here anyway, the original Suzuki ones. I just never really liked what was in here. But I'm leery of a lot of aftermarket products, so. Now to get this in, I'm going to have to pull the rear tire up just a little bit again. Now I take that back and I have to come down with the rear tire just a little bit. I'm sure that's way too much. No, it's actually not. Kind of is. We'll put our nuts back on. Well, that's about going to finish up our center stand install project as well as installing the original shock links instead of the lowering links. I prefer what I'm riding to actually be at the correct ride height and handle the way it was intended to. So that does it for our shock linkage. Also our center stand, it's installed. Those springs, they were a son of a gun right there. Uh, got them using a pair of pliers and even those pliers were hoses of all things. My son bought this bike and this is the very first vehicle he bought with his own money. I was quite proud of him because he did not take out a loan. He saved up the money and worked out a deal with the dealership. And he bought it cash. So, quite proud of him there. Anyway, this is a 2009 Suzuki V-Strom. It now has a center stand and the correct ride height on the rear. Thank you for watching. I've got more videos about motorcycles and repairs coming. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you.